Welcome back everybody, my name is Gamma Trap, one word, and this is my free metal tutorial series. I cover a different type and texture of metal in each video, so make sure to watch them all for the most comprehensive understanding of the topic. Also, leaving a comment and then watching the next video in the line really tells YouTube that I'm doing a good job. So if you want to support my channel and encourage me to keep making these videos, that's one great way to do it. So thank you so much and let's get started. All right, now this is going to be our really polished metal tutorial. This is going to be the really reflective one. I'm talking like mirror edge, not the game. <laughs> uh, this is going to be like the most reflective kind of metal you can get, the, the highest polish the shiniest of the shiny, all right, the reflective-est metal <laughs> texture, I guess, you could probably get. Silver, chrome, you know, things that are like so smooth, so polished out, you can't see hardly any imperfections, you don't see many, you know, dings and cuts and nicks and grooves and scratches, none of that, none of that. <laughs> this is gonna be like the most basic type of metal you can get. The only thing you really gotta keep in mind with this kind of metal material is the reflections. Like that's the main thing. If you practice chrome and silver, you know, the shiny, shiny stuff, if you practice this enough, you will understand reflections for the rest of them. Like you take this one and you just reduce how much reflection, or reflection, reflectivity, reflectivity? I'm not sure, uh, re reduce the amount of reflections and you've got like the other types of metals. So like this is like the most reflective. And if it's a really flat surface, it's gonna be essentially kind of like a mirror uh, with maybe a slight angle to it because you know, it's slightly angled from where you're standing. But that's about it uh, on a flat surface. Again, on a rounded surface, that's gonna be fun to get into in like the future like sphere of this material. Uh, it's just like a fish eye really, but you'll understand, you'll get it, right? So believe it or not, most of the brushing we're gonna be using is going to be our soft round brush for this one. Uh, I usually prefer like hard round brush for like good details and stuff, but because this is like a really polished, really fine, uh, smooth surface, we're not gonna be needing the hard round brush all that much. Even with the reflections being so good, uh, we're, we don't want them to be like perfect mirror edge because in a painting, uh, typically speaking, you don't want like mirrors everywhere because God help you. <laughs> I, I can I can guarantee you, you don't want to paint the same face 13 times because you have like something with a lot of perfect little mirror facets from different angles. It's, it's going to be rough. So we try for stylized stuff like this to keep it pretty reflective, uh, really good, but still kind of soft because then it the, the shape of the metal takes more precedence than what it's reflecting. If, if the shape of the metal and the detail of the reflections are, are clashing, you're gonna have a problem. So we keep the brush kind of soft. The, the colors are gonna be pretty one-to-one -one for the most part, uh, but it's gonna be soft. All right, so you'll see what I get into in a second. So but this one's gonna be a square-like shape like the rest of them. So we go over to our lasso tool and again, this one's our polygonal lasso tool. If you don't see this one, you see like one of the other ones, just click and hold, drag it over to polygonal. That's the one you want. So on our lovely new layer, we're gonna make a square-like shape, a three-dimensional square-like shape, if at all possible, like so. And then we are going to pick one of our base colors. Now, because this is more reflective than the other ones, our base colors are going a little more on the vibrant side of things. So the greens are more green, the blues are more blue. And if you're like, for example, in a desert or a, a, a redstone like city or canyon or something, you know, make them a little more vibrant. Remember the colors, the colors are gonna be more one-to-one -one as to what they're reflecting. So if this is this, if the grass down here is this type of green, you're gonna be pretty much using that type of green. If the clouds above are a type of, you know, white with the blue sky, you're pretty much gonna be using that blue for the reflections. Uh, just try to make sure that it doesn't, you know, <laughs> get too out of whack. And the way we're going to show a good way to separate the colors is by using the darks and the lights. And so we'll get into that in a second. So first, let's grab a medium. And we're just going to paint that in nice and solid. Deselect. Now, let's actually move this a little closer to the middle. There we go. Cool, cool. Okay. So now we've got our shape. Let's make a new layer. Right click it. Go to create clipping mask. And we're going to find the edge like we enjoy doing with our lasso tool Probably right there nice cool so let's grab a darker blue paint that in and this could be more gray you know if you want 
there's definitely, definitely plenty of instances where being too vi vibrant is a downside. Uh, so keep that in mind as well. I know it's a little confusing. So let's grab our top plane real quick. There we go. All right, so we're gonna be keeping these planes very much in mind. So much so that we're pretty much going to exclusively be working in the lasso tool. So let's start with the top layer first. Let's grab that. And now, <laughs> very reflective. Remember, we're gonna be using pure white. And maybe add a little bit of following the right perspective. A little bit of angle. Kind of like that. Kind of like our last one. Let's grab darker blue. Let's have a little bit of light variation in here. Soft brush. Soft brush the entire time. Soft brush. We're dealing with reflections, but we're dealing with very polished reflections. So we're going to be doing a lot of blending as well. So for Photoshop, I'm holding Alt or Option if you're on a Mac uh, to get this little eyedropper tool here. And you can click and pick whichever color you want and let go. And that's the color you're painting with. So that is the best way to go about blending colors. Actually, I want to have a more because, you know, reflections. Let's grab that a little higher. Grab a bit of the background color. And it's slightly less vibrant. Now, let's go to another plane. So we're gonna go to our lasso tool. We're gonna right click. We're gonna come to select inverse. This was our selection up here, but now, now everything but that is our selection when we do select inverse. So while we're here, we're gonna grab our selection tool and whichever side we want. So let's, let's do work on the uh, darker side now. So we're gonna hold down alt or option and you'll see a little minus sign next to the little symbol. And that means we're, we're taking away from the selection. So let's grab this corner and let's deselect this edge. So now our dark edge is the only plane that's got selections. All right, now let's grab the other one. So we're gonna select inverse. So we have now only this one selected. And we're going to take away the top section by holding Alt or Option if you're on a Mac. Lining that up roughly as best as we can. So now our selections 
right here. So let's grab our white. This little line. Nice soft, you know, short, small, soft brush. Now, I'm gonna add the dark bits. much only want our bright white to be the edge so we can really differentiate where the edge is but there will be times when we have a nice reflective line kind of cutting through So if we take our selections away, we can see we've got pretty much everything lined up pretty nicely here. So let's just clean this up. I think D, which changes our palettes here to black and white. And if we hit X, it'll swap your palettes. Or we can just grab our white. And now, soft brush, but small, small, detail soft brush. Let's make sure we fix up these lines here. Just remember, make sure you make your brush nice and big. Nice big soft brush. And slowly make it bigger as you step towards any direction. Let's actually round out those edges a bit. We can use a hard brush this time. Just very gentle rounding. Okay. 
And now let's, we planned our grass. So let's work on that grass. Now the grass gets hard brush. Multiply real quick, soft brush, grab a blue, multiply. Now our light source coming from top left going bottom right, so. credit here. Give it a bit of a light. there we go it's pretty simple like you know once you have less and less details to worry about and it's really soft brush you gotta handle everything else seems to just kind of be just way easier the less details you have to worry about the better it'll end up looking again like, you know, with polished stuff just make sure that it's all about the reflections keep it bright keep it colorful but make sure it's pretty much the color of whatever light source is hitting it as well as whatever the environment around it is giving you uh, so, you know, greens, blues, browns, reds, that kind of thing. It's pretty simple. And that is the polished version of our metal. So we've done now three uh, iron or rusty kind of like chopped up metal, uh, then more brushed metal like steel uh, for like armor and stuff. And this is our shiny stuff like uh, chrome or silver. In fact, I mostly used blue here, but I, you could use any color and or even lack of color having like more silver and actual like gray tones in this is really good i would say keep that in mind they will be working on spheres so like showing you how these materials work as a ball or a round object those will be the next videos in the uh, list of metal so i hope you enjoyed i uh, found it useful helpful or entertaining leave a like if you liked it a dislike if you disliked it subscribe to see more thank you so much to my amazing patrons i appreciate the ever loving out of you for supporting the ever loving out of me and i will see you in the next video take care